Hello everybody! I am Raphael Perry, and this is an oh-so-early taste of an upcoming game called Return to Nangrim. Oh god, is the music volume shot all the way up again? I'll try that again. <laughs> Hello everybody, once again. I'm Raphael Perry, also known as Balgin Stondrig, and this is Return to Nangrim. A game that hasn't actually come out yet. Now, the developers have very kindly shared a early demo of the game, and I am allowed to show off video footage of it, and because the game isn't out yet, I'm not going to be overly critical, because hey, it's not finished, you know? Things have yet to be done, and I need to quickly check that music volume, because it can get quite loud. Right, so I have a great fondness already for this main menu music. This game first appeared on Steam back in... 2018 or 2019 and it had a release date of 2021 you know and people were like are you serious and the developers were like yeah guys look we're just a little indie company we can't do everything really quickly with loads of money so we were working on this right we'll have it ready we, we, we set a realistic release date now they have actually revised that due to various reasons to 2022, obviously. So, yeah, this game probably isn't coming out till next year. Uh, so, up to that point, it's been sitting on my Steam wish list, waiting for the game to be released, and all I've had is the beautiful screenshots on the Steam product page, which are like early early project screenshots but look really polished and professional and then there's uh, there's like a little video clip as well you know camera moving through caves and mountains and recently now there have been a couple of trailers I have looked forward to this game for a long time this is a dwarf game this is a game like Skyrim, but you get to be a dwarf. So, of course, I want to play it. Why would I not? Of course, I want to feel at home with my fellow stone children. Sons of earth and stone, we're here to test. Now, we have asked the developers, hey, what, what do you want us to, to test? Do you want us to, like, break everything? And they kindly said, look, for now, we'd like you to work on the forging system try it out, get a feel for it, until you feel you're ready to give some good feedback on it. Then activate Berserker mode and burn the place down. Now, I don't know if there actually is a Berserker mode or if they just mean then we start wrecking stuff. But apparently people have already... Look, I, I wasn't able to play this yesterday when I got access to it, and today I had to wait till tonight, so I've been waiting patiently, like a good little dwarf for my chance to get my grubby little mitts on this thing. Uh, there is a survey I will have to fill out afterwards when I feel knowledgeable enough and ready to give back uh, feedback. But for now, I don't know if it's a one-time survey or if I can do it multiple times, so I'm going to just avoid clicking on that. Now, as we heard at the beginning of the video, the music is really nice, but also can get quite loud. And that's just messing with the master volume without actually changing the individual music volume. If I set both those to max, I'd probably deafen myself. Now, options menu. 
What have we got? Graphics, we've got some presets, low, normal, high, and ultra. I, I set it on high, it was set on low as default. Hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, full screen, yes, absolutely. Texture streaming quality. Oh, hello. I presume that's not for actually recording and streaming, but like the, the, the quality at which the textures are streamed into the game. Texture resolution original, half quarter, eighth original, wow. Ambient occlusion, motion blur, screen space reflection, anti-aliasing, we have brightness, contrast, V-sync, real-time reflection, ANSIO filter level, I'm not sure what that is. Um, ANSIO filter mode, okay. Shadow type, complex. For audio, we've seen the audio settings and experienced them quite significantly. Uh, language, currently only English and German are available. They're a German company. Input, we have invert Y-axis. I appreciate it being there. I don't fly aeroplanes. This is not particularly for me. I don't want the camera to move up every time I might panic and pull the mouse towards me. Sensibility no idea, I presume it's mouse sensitivity. Gamepad, no I don't have one, I don't own one, and I probably won't unless Until Dawn ever gets a PC port. Right. I don't know what the controls are. I have no idea. They're literally, um, <laughs> no controls listed whatsoever. I am just gonna hope I can bumble my way around and learn things. All right, uh, so we have forging at the moment. Uh, I do not feel that this is the full amount of what the studio has created. I suspect that they have created more than this, but this is what they are allowing us, the testers and players, to see. So in, in some time they will open up inventory management, destroying Virtual reality. I don't own a VR headset, but maybe for this game it would be really good. And there are other things. We know there's going to be enemies. Um, exploring ancient dwarven ruins. In this game, we will play a dwarven hero, a preset character, who has returned to his homeland after being far away for a long time. The place is in ruins, and he's coming to reclaim his culture, explore, find things, make things, pull things together, you know, and have an absolutely great time. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, options. What, what, what do I have to click in options to be able to... I don't get it. Um, oh, there we go. I see. So this is completely separate from a main game. A stone beard is only as strong as the stone beneath his feet. This is a game of great dwarven atmosphere, and I'm looking forward to it. Keep your torch close when darkness approaches. Now, okay, component test. Oh, it's inverted. The vertical is actually inverted by default. Uh, I did not turn that on. Why is that turned on by default? Okay, that's up, that's down. Now this makes sense. I have no feet. I have no shadow. Perhaps I'm just the ancient dwarven ghost of some ancestral smith. Now, I believe I've been informed that this is not the beginning of the game. This is an area in the game. Uh, we'll probably fall in through that gaping hole up there, maybe. Uh, but it's a good place to show off the forging mechanic. I imagine this is relatively near the beginning of the game. At a guess, I'd say about a third of the way through, maybe a bit less. And that 
if I was playing the full game and it was released and ready, by this point of arriving here, I would have a somewhat basic fundamental understanding of the crafting system, which obviously now I do not have. Can I move? Okay, pressing the W key moves me forwards. Welcome! Greetings, adventurer! Glad you made it here alive! You're entering a realm of mystery, full of possibilities and changes. Now it is your turn. Seems you're in one of the famous dwarven forges, so smelt and forge like the dwarfs of old. Ah, I see. You're not familiar with the art of forging? What a shame you are! Ugh, bootless. So I'll provide you with the basics then, just... but listen carefully now. I'm not going to repeat myself. I will say this only once. How to fire up the furnace. Not even the best master blacksmiths can forge something out of nothing, so grab your resources from the resource chest. Next, fire up the furnace. Or how else would you smelt or forge something? If the temperature is not in the range needed, you can adjust it by opening and closing the flaps. I presume these will be like buttons in an interface rather than actually walking around the forge uh, because of some things people have mentioned. If that does not help, perhaps you need a different kind of wood. Oh, okay. What do you say? You finally want to forge a mug? Not so fast over there. Do you know how to craft a good mug? If so, go ahead. If not, maybe you may find a scripture somewhere that explains the process, or perhaps you're reckless enough to randomly try. Either way, you are going to need metal ingots to do so. Seems like this forge's blacksmith has left some here, but a true dwarf, of course, cast his own into the foundry. Enough now. If you need someone to hold your hand, ask your mother. Start doing something useful now. Oh, and of course, it's the, the night after Mother's Day as well. <laughs> oh, hello. Were we breathing? Okay, so we can fire up the forge. So this is an interesting anvil, right? The horn of the anvil, it seems to be a double-horned anvil, is, is rather blunt. Now, you'd probably want the hole at this end. You, you generally want it horizontal to the forge because every part of the anvil is used and has its purpose. You know, the flat surface on top is for beating things flat. The horn, traditionally rounder, is for, you know, curving metal because you, you beat it round the curve of the horn. The hole has its purposes for doing specific things as well, like if you're bending an iron bar or something, or if you're wanting to make sure you've got something a specific shape. Um, so this isn't quite a traditional anvil. Let's see what we've got. Um, a pentagon and a triangle. 53, 5 and 3, 8. Ooh, I'm getting some uh, some strange flashes of light along the bottom of the screen as I walk. Are those my are those my hands? Are those my armored gauntlets? Ooh, there's a run button and a jump. Yeah, I think that's my hands. Okay, so there's a gold, a, a red-looking triangle kind of tarnished, um, coppery, so free copper, if we say free, free silvery irony colour and five, um, was there something over here as well on this wall? Yet yeah, who would? So these have got to be some kind of key or clue. I believe somebody asked about this and was told that these, these are for like a puzzle 
if we had played the earlier parts of the game leading up to this, we oh hello, that's uh, plants looking a little the light ooh little two dimensional there in places, but yeah yeah a little I'd like to see a little more light and shade on these even though they are brightly in the light, just a little shadow not much. But yeah, these are essentially part of a puzzle that we do not have the the information for yet. And if we'd played the earlier portions of the game, we'd, we'd understand what these symbols mean. Uh, but even so, maybe there is some kind of secret hidden meaning there. Let's fiddle with these over here and see what we can do. Hello, chest. Uh, let's Let's look at all these things first. I can't pick that up. I can't pick this up. I like the workbench. Good, solid. There's a little. That's not a vice, though. That's like a, it's a screw to move the tabletop. And uh, the pegs would hold it in place once it's been screwed into location, in which case, this vertical slot for the leg doesn't make sense. So I'm not sure entirely what's supposed to be going on there. Is there a crouch? Sorry, it just feels so much like Skyrim controls, but I'm uh, <laughs> right. Let let's so we got that that potato potato and some paper. Let's look at the paper. O and E. Okay. Basic spoon plan. Uh, okay. How to forge a basic spoon? All right. Do I get to okay? Um, so moving the mouse to the edge really far uh, I'm not seeing a lot of information here so it's it's moving counter to the mouse motions. Okay, so if I just pick it up. Uh, is there like a... No weapons in your inventory yet? That is fine. No items. No weapons. No resources. Ah! Observe. Okay, so I'm seeing this here, right? A line that goes back on itself and a crease off. Uh, I think this is either just unfinished or or broken. As in, the Smith never finished, or whoever wrote that never finished it. Observe. Basic cut plan. Interesting. Well, I will take this basic cut plan and be unable to read it. Um, it looks the same, and there's no information. Now, the developers did say they wanted us to like go into this blind, so what's this? This is a key part, part of a key. Well, I will take that key part. And then this is another key part. Uh, these sigils on the side, I won't quite call them runes, although they're angular enough. Um, Again, in the full game, I would have access to understanding these and uh, a better idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. But for now, I'm just going to pick things up. And uh, that is a potato. I, I know what a potato is. Oh. Ah, northern potato. Is there like a southern potato? Oh, hello, chest. Oh, hello, chest. Uh, so wood, black oak. Black iron, iron, gold, copper, copper ore, iron ore, gold ore, coal black ore, titan ore, titan, tin ore, tin, and silver. 
So, no silver ore, no gold ore. Yeah, I wanna, okay. Are these unlimited? I mean, it would make sense, right? Let's see. I mean, for, for testing purposes, it would make sense. What have we here? So, we have these four items. Um, no weapons. Ah! Alright. So let's get back to wood, black oak, um, black oak, wood, gold. Huh. Interesting order, but okay. So let's see what I can do with these. Obviously this is all um, experimental smelting. Okay. Uh, easy. So let's start with some wood. Um, oh, do I have to add more wood to... Yeah, I see, I see, okay. Let's try something quite simple. Some iron ore. Okay. Not what I need now. Hey, he has a voice. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's go back, try a bit more wood. All right. And where are we? Okay, nice. So iron ore around the middle is nice. Now I appreciate this might not be the most fun to watch, but hey, uh, so let's see if I can do a stack. It doesn't seem to be Okay, can I do this? Will this produce one or two? Or will I need more heat? Two iron. Excellent. Uh, where are we? Iron 13. Okay. So what am I doing next? Hmm. I could smelt Okay, let's get silly. Because I have potatoes. Can I do a baked potato? Um, that's going to need a bit more. Oh, I can. Yeah, that's going to need a bit more. Potato on the anvil, probably not ideal. Um, let's get a bit more wood. All right. Hello, potato. Oh, I have plans. Oh, okay. Basic cup for looks like iron. Basic spoon, three iron, one wood, one something, and free heat. Well, I need free heat for both of those. What have I got? I've got free. Let's try the potato. Hey. Okay, that didn't work. Right, I don't want to do the potato. I want no potato. No potato. 
All right. Aha. So. Let's try one iron, one wood, and then... No, 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 no. No, no, no. Basic cup. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. Right. Known result. Nice basic cup. You know what? Could I know it. Could be useful at some point. Yeah, is that a slight Welsh accent? I'm not entirely sure. No, no, no. That sounded a bit kind of northern. Uh, like, well, North Midlands, you know, like, or maybe even sort of northeast, like Northumbria or something. Um, I'll have to listen to his voice more. That's some heat used up, so I'm going to need to add a little more heat. Let's get some wood. Okay. So, one iron, one wood, and one, okay, it's not gold, clump of waste, yeah, I'm sure I'll, there's got to be some nice use for that, like melting that down, I and mean, that's kind of slag, it might be just, okay, it's not copper. You know, okay, okay. So basic spoon. Oh, oh, okay, right, right. Now let's try. It's not going to be you. No. Copper. Yeah, let's go make that. Looks promising. Looks promising. Alright, well, looks promising. Oh, he's, he's a glum dwarf, isn't he? Right. Ah, uh, what do we want to do now? Um, so these buttons are rather large. Um, let's, let's try a bit more smelting, right? Let's try something outrageous. Let's add a bit of black oak. Oh, that adds a lot of heat. Okay. And while you're that hot, let's... Uh, bit of black iron... No! No, no, no. Black iron ore. Let's try that. Excellent. Right. Let's try... Some... Iron ore with some black iron ore. Okay, that didn't work. Um, can we? Uh, these buttons don't appear to be working, so that's unfortunate. All right, let's be stupid. Two wood. Oh! Oh! What if one of these refers to the temperature of a forge, so free heat. Can I... These buttons do not work. Okay, to the forge, to the furnace, to the foundry. Okay, so I don't need to move about physically, but it can be fun. Right. Two wood could mean two wood, or it could mean level 2 heat on the forge, right? Uh, I can't physically move the arrow. Uh, these side buttons don't appear to be working, unfortunately. 
so I can't artificially lower it. You know what, though? Let's try that spud again. Not what I need now. Okay. Interesting. How about we try it on here? This is going to be so dumb. Even if that worked. What good would it do? The potato turned into a chunk of metal <laughs> with nails sticking out of it. Oh, great, 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 great. So, if these are different, what are they? And can I make some kind of steel? Let's try... Um, one black iron ore... Two iron ore. Oh, what's this? Copper, tin. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. Not what I need now. Well, all right then. Uh, I might raise his voice volume a bit next time I fiddle around with this. Um. So let's try. One, two, three, and some tin. It's is it iron with a bit of tin to make steel. I can't remember. Probably need some kind of charcoal as well, a different kind of wood. Um, right. Not what I need now. Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Um, Titan ore. Okay, I suppose I should be a little more methodical. Can I produce one of everything? Um, black iron ore. Yes! Okay. Gold. Hey. I'm oh! Of course, gold is a, a softer metal. I've, I've, waste, I've burnt it and damaged it. Um, let's try a bit of copper. No. Oh! Is it too hot? Titan ore. Not what I need now. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Even if that worked, what good would it do? Another temperature? Oh, interesting. Well, unfortunately, I can't adjust the temperature. Um, up or down. Wait. No, ma mouse wheel isn't doing it. Um, cursor keys? No. I cannot adjust this. Okay. So, if it is two wood, three copper, which it probably isn't, two wood, Free copper. We have silver, tin, titan, iron. Silver, tin, titan, iron. But it won't be tin. Do these look different colours? Um, not so much. Maybe it's combining things. 
Um, if anything, that one looks slightly cleaner, but that could just be because the light is higher up. Okay. Uh, so if I'm going to try... Hmm. Try it with silver. And... Titan. And then we'll see. Even if that worked, what good would it do? Oh, interesting. Okay. Wood. Wait, 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 wait. So if I pretend that is for heat, because we're putting the wood in here to burn. And that's on a free, so we need to get it down. Um, I'm having difficulty adjusting this. So that's something I get to look forward to. You know what? I think uh, I'm going to fiddle with this and have some more fun. But I think we've seen enough for now. And I'm just going to leave this one here. And then I'll fiddle some more and go give some feedback in a bit. I hope you've all enjoyed this little look at a very early version of the crafting system for Return to Nangrim. And, you know, when there's more to show off, I will show stuff off. But for now, I'm going to say bye-bye everyone. Hope you'll like the video. And, of course, when the game comes out, I'm going to be playing it and having lots of fun with it. I'll probably even put up some videos on my tiny little YouTube channel. Okay. Bye-bye for now, everyone. See you next time.